find out if this is working. Whoa. Um, push down on the on the button. Use your fingers, thumb and fingers to pull, put Brenna, like this. You thumb it down, you thumb it down. From the side, grab it like you would a lever and push it down. Or pull it up. There you go. That, yeah, you're gonna wanna turn it all the way up. Yo. It should be coming on. Hey guys. Let's fix this tripod. It's hot out. It's 93, 94 degrees or something. It's really hot. Leah has the car, so I couldn't go in the car and do a air-conditioned stream. And now, like a psycho savage, I'm gonna drink hot black coffee in 93 degrees weather while staring into the sun. Because I'm an idiot. What's going on, Caitlin? Let's go bolts. What's up, Rando? I feel like my can't see. Well, maybe I can't see if I don't put my hat on. Just flip that back around, so I don't get facial burn. What up, TKO Rising? What up, everybody? Happy birthday! How you doing? Oh, it looks like that got hidden, John. I think it's because you said bitch. When you say bitch, I don't know, Google he hides it, I, I suppose. You know? Well, Joe, when is Becky Lynch coming back? Becky Lynch is coming back when, uh, when she announces her baby coming out as trans. Thanks, James. What's going on? Hi, Cody. Hopefully the alerts are on. I don't know. I've had problems all last 20 minutes trying to get this set up to get the alerts to work, too. So I don't know if they're working or not. If they aren't, let me know, and I will, uh, at least I can tell you to stop. What? Turn them off? Ask Brenna. I thought you wanted the sprinklers on. They're awesome. Man, I'm dying. I'm in the sun. I picked the wrong... I might leave the porch and come down there under the grass where it's nice. God damn, it's hot. Um, I would say Becky Lynch should be coming back um, probably around SummerSlam time. Closer to SummerSlam. You know? Or probably soon, though. I would think that normally the way you would go, if Roman wasn't on such a winning streak, you know, with Edge, if Roman is going to be facing Cena and facing The Rock, then you would not want Edge to win, you know. But ideally, if it was if it was Cena or The Rock, I would say, you know, at that point, you'd probably. You'd probably want Roman to lose the first match. And then you'd want Roman to come back and win the next two. You know what I mean? But I don't think they want to do that with him and Edge because I think I think they gotta treat Edge almost like the sacrificial lamb of the legends. You know what I mean? What's up?
It's off, yeah, you just turned it off, look. You push it up or pull it down, the lever on the right. Shit bomb! Oh man, it worked. You become a shit bomb. Whoa! Holy crap, BD Skeleton, what's up, dude? BD Skeleton with a $20 birthday bomb. Thanks, ma'am. Holy crap, I didn't think the donuts were working. Wow. What's going on? I just dumped that in my ear. I said I just dumped water into my ear. I don't know. Happy birthday. What's up, man? Thank you, Justin McNeil. BD Skeleton, thank you, BD. That's really nice of you, man. Not only did they work, it actually popped up. I can't believe it. Ooh, that feels good to dump down me. Thank you, BD Skeleton. Michael Wakefield, what's up, man? Miss the 3rd of July super streams. Yeah, Jay Swiss, what's going on? Holy crap, dude, don't you remember those? I miss them too. Down at the, my mother's house at the beach every 3rd of July, everybody would be in the neighborhood, we'd have some weird stream. I still have them up. So, well, I privated one because one of the girls like wasn't happy she was on stream, so we deleted, I took it down for her. But I was like, it doesn't matter, nobody cares. Dunkachino? Don't mind if I do! What's my name? Dunkachino! It's a whole new game. Dunkachino! You want creamy goodness? I'm your friend. Say hello to my chocolate blend. Happy birthday, Joe. Glad to be a fan for seven years. What you plan Ooh. on drinking to celebrate tonight? Um. That's a good point. You know, I'm not sure yet. I haven't thought about it. Probably whiskey, some kind of whiskey. Not too much though. Only because my mother's uh, moving into her house today and tomorrow or starting. She does the walkthrough tonight, which I have to go to before Raw. And then tomorrow uh, is the day that she moves into her new, uh, new house, which is right near us. So um, she'll be close to us and Leah's dad is moving in close to us. And, um, so that's really cool. Yeah, it probably will be vodka, to be honest, Dan. Uh, whiskey and vodka are usually the two things that I have, so those will be the things. Won't be a lot, though, to be honest. Paul, you got a better idea, maybe. You know, I might just do that. What's up, Finn? What? Oh, yeah, yeah, the water's flowing down into the pool. Do you think I can get away with sitting on the steps so I can get out of this heat right now? Because I'm dying. By the way, my plants are growing stuff. Check this out. Beady skeleton, you freaking beast. Thank you for the $20. Man of a thousand five holds. Thank you for the five bucks, man. What's going on? Thanks for being here for seven years, man. We got the peppers are looking pretty good, although this plant looks like it's rough today. I think it needs more water. So the pepper, the red peppers are coming in. I gotta get these in a box uh, later. Um, all right, looks like we got tomatoes coming on, so that's that's good news. These are these are coming in. Um, and then there's some other things growing too, but we really need to get some, uh, some water in there. Let me just get some water. Okay. Tonight I'll be live for Raw Review, yep. Uh, probably is gonna, gonna stink. I've been outside working all morning on lots of cleaning up and just fixing the porch and stuff. There's always something going on, and there always will be until probably forever. Let's see if the internet connection holds up while I sit here. You can see the toolboxes and everything. That was hot. But I'm drinking hot black coffee too, which is hilarious. Alright, let's figure this out. 
Let's figure this out. Good job. You gonna jump in and splash? Watch, look at this. Who are you gonna splash, Finn? That's what's going on for the people that wondered. I'm working on the porch, ripping up all the stuff and getting ready to sand it. And then after I sand it, all the stain stuff and whatever else. We have it all here. We didn't have to pay for any of it because uh, the people that were here before had all the stuff and they just left it. They were like, oh, just, you know, we we're going to do it. We didn't do it. We'll just leave you the stuff. So they left all the stains that were needed. Everything is here. And coincidentally, the only thing is they didn't, they don't want to, we don't have the right color paint. So the color is all, it's like $40. So it's like not a lot of money. Uh, well, that's a lot of money, but I mean 40 bucks, but it's not too bad. So we have we already have sanders Already have the stains already have the protection stuff um, I've got a replacement plank That they had already bought so they had already bought everything I, I think they were gonna fix it if we had if the house hadn't sold when we bought it I think they would have probably fixed it within the next couple of months. They just were just fixing things as they were trying to sell the house and then you know, we came along before they could finish uh, fixing more stuff, so I think that's what they were doing. Which brand do you think Des Tessa Blanchard will go to? I mean, didn't she already go somewhere? And then we were like, oh, I wonder what she's going to do, and now she's not doing anything. I think she might be in trouble, man. People seem mm -hmm. to not like her. I almost think Tessa Blanchard is going to eventually end up back in, like, NXT or something like that, you know? I'm really hot right now. It's really hot out here. I didn't tweet that I was going live or anything either. I didn't tweet it, I didn't Patreon message it out, so... I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people that are like, Oh, I didn't see it, but... Hey, at least 76 of you are here. Hit that like button if you'd like to. Share it all over the place, tell your mothers. Um, your message got hidden, uh, John. I think it's because every time you say bitch, like, it hides it. I'm pretty sure that's the word that... I don't know why Google doesn't like bitch. Like, I don't get it. Google hides it. Um, if we had still lived at my mother's house, villain, if we still lived at my mother's house, we would probably just be walking down the street right now to go to the beach. And that's the saddest thing about living out here. Has been... The only sad thing about living, about having this place, has been that, man, back in the day, we would just leave the house, walk down the street to the ocean, and uh, swim around. Oh, nice, babe. I, we can get a real slip and slide, maybe. Okay. We'll see. Um, for my birthday, Drew got... Drew got... Uh, gave me his uh, final notice. <laughs> that comment got hidden because you said the B word. What? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, we can get those too. Um, I'll be live tonight for the raw review. But yeah, for my birthday, uh, Drew quit. So that was, you know, rest in peace to Drew. We love you. It's okay. We'll be all right. We're gonna be replacing Drew with Melly as the as the as the second or third Mike Melly the dog. We're gonna mic her up in the basement, and what we're gonna do is we really designed this way to, I wanna show people the anger of animals and the rage that animals have. You can hear her now screaming from inside, but a lot of people don't believe that animals have racism towards human beings. A lot of people don't understand that animals are very racist towards humans, and we are going to show that um, on Monetize This um, starting this week when we put Melly on microphone. And I think one of the ways that we can help sort of pull this out of her, like to, to really coax her into her primal doggy rage, um, is going to be we're going to basically starve her for days. 
And then we're gonna put dog food at the end of the room and tie her to a chair. Now PETA may not like this, so I'm worried about how this is gonna go online. But I think if we can get her furious and hungry enough, we can show the inner rage of a dog as she uh, becomes my top co-host on the show. So it's gonna be a uh, interesting thing. Oh, Pisharo, your donations are working this time. I can see your donation, Pisharo. In fact, I never fixed that other one either. I still don't know why I can't see it. But maybe mm -hmm. I'll just refund this one and then everything will be okay. So, thank you for the happy birthday. I'm 37, yeah. Shit bomb! You become a shit bomb. My donations come Careful. through. It happened again. Picharo, what's up, man? I don't know why that other one didn't and why these ones are coming through. Very strange, Picharo. I'll take a look at it. Uh, furry balls plot menacingly on the table. Happy birthday, man. Oh, that's my birthday, that's right. I forgot. I was thinking it to you. Oh, I don't know where they went, buddy. We're gonna have to wait to ask mommy. I think she might have. Shit bomb! Special. You become a shit bomb. Happy birthday, Joe and Mikkel. Oh, hey, right, that's right. I share a birthday with Mikkel. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Mikkel, happy birthday to us, man. What's going on? Where's Finn going? Finn, why are you going in the shed with a spider's eye? Ben? I think they're in the house, buddy. You're gonna have to, we're gonna have to get mommy to find them when she gets home. What? What are in the house? These are the balls. Those balls that Grammy brought, the big ones that blow up. Oh, yeah, I don't have to know where they are. Yeah, mommy will be home in a few minutes and we'll ask her where they are. Pretty sure she put them somewhere safe. Farewell to the stinky cheese man. Apparently Anna J and Jungle Boy are a thing. Really? He's jungling, he's down in her jungle. Listen, happy birthday, Mikkel. I love you, brother. Danny310, what's going on? I hope you have a good day at work, ma'am. I took I took today completely off. So I could sit here. Cody Mastro, thank you for the dollar ninety nine, Cody. What's up, Cody? And thanks to BD Skeleton for dropping a $20 uh, bomb, man. I am definitely going to buy lunch with that. Oh, you found them. Cool. I'm not going to be able to blow them up right now, though. Because I'm doing the stream. I already hooked you up with the pool. So I could do this. You're going to have to put them over here and I'll do it in a few minutes, okay? Wow, you got dirt all over your belly, dude. You better go jump in the pool and wash them off. Be careful you don't step on the spikies for the rake that I've been raking the whole yard with all morning. Oh my. Your feet all covered? Daddy, can you do it for now? Yep, I'll put them over here and we'll see. By the way, Finn got his shirt wet. Well, I can see that. But you know what, Finn? Good job finding them, man. That was pretty good. Your older brother would shit never do bomb! that. He'd be like, I don't know where it is. You Forget become it. a shit bomb. Hey Joe, did you see Fast 9? I did not. My mother did, though. My mother saw Fast and the Furious 9, and she said she liked it. I went, what? You liked it? I can't believe my mother liked it. I'm shocked that my mother liked that movie. I really am. I am. I was, like, blown away. She's like, oh, I liked it. I'm like, what, you liked it? Are you, you're joking, right? Yeah, I was convinced she was... I'm like, are you crazy? This way I can see the kids better over this way. Yeah, she liked it. I didn't see it, because I won't, I won't see... I haven't seen a Fast and the Furious movie since the... I think I saw the first one, then maybe I saw the third one one day by accident. I just don't like those movies. And, um... Definitely after Cena's weird video of him 
Ho oh, ho ho, bung ho ho. Like I was like, nah, I'm good with this fucking. I'm good with these people. I'm all set with John Cena's weird communist video. I'm all set. But I guess I'm racist to my own race, right? I guess all my uh, all my uh, raging on the SJWs isn't enough. I guess I'm racist to my own race. You damn whites. Nope, stop asking or I'm gonna throw them out. I, I made you the pool. I got a towel over here for you if you guys want to come out. Mm -hmm. I'll blow up the balls in a few minutes, alright? Look at the towels, they're right here. Okay. You see them? Yeah. Go grab a towel. Go inside and dry off though, because we're. It's. Shit bomb! The porch. You become. Finn, a shit you? bomb. Towel. Have you been watching towel. the Euros? No, no, it's towel. been insane. The Euros? What? What up, Tommy Slaughter? Finn, look, oh my god. Hold on a second. There's a towel right here. They dry off. I'm gonna blow them up while you. You can't fall on the floor though, so you're gonna slip, okay? Yeah. Go get changed, put some shorts on. Raw. <sighs> Tommy Salami, what's up, man? Shit, what did you say about Euros? Hold on, let me go back. Tommy, thanks for subscribing, Tommy Salami. Have you been watching the Euros? It's been insane. Yes. Yes. That stuff has been insane. Dude, crypto's crazy. Everything is crazy right now, you know what I mean? Tommy Salami, you know what? You may say the Grimm's coming for me, but just... Shit bomb! Hey, Rod, what's up? You become a shit bomb. Happy birthday, Joe Cronin Show. Birthday cake. Birthday cake. Ooh. Birthday cake. Birthday cake. Birthday yes. cake. Yes! J-Rod, I'm going to eat that cake. I don't care if my whole neighborhood here say, Come on! Oh, uh, wow. Ooh, ooh, that didn't work. <coughs> ooh. Tried to do the Jericho. It didn't work. Um, whoa, I think I just died. Um, yeah, listen. I'm going to leave Grim like his ex-wife left him, crying in a heap surprised, okay? I'm going to leave Grim like Drew left me, out of nowhere, okay? Out of nowhere, Grim. You fat tub of lard, okay? Um, yeah, the Euros as in football. Yeah, yeah. No, dude, the... I've been, no, the only football... I've, okay, so I haven't really been watching uh, the football... Well, I've been watching some football, a little bit. Like, a little of the highlights, as far as soccer football. Um, but, but then I've also been watching New Zealand and Australia's rugby right now is crazy. Like, it's all been kind of crazy, to be honest. Uh, no, not the euros and the money. I know what you're talking about. Well, now I know what you're talking about. I didn't know what you're talking about a minute ago. I was talking about currency. Currency's bad right now. Except for, uh, crypto. Shit bomb! You become a shit bomb. We should collab. We can rub tips. Ooh, Glorious 1.0. What up, Glorious? Can we now? What are you doing, brother? I'll do it. I have to do it. I'll do it in a little while, okay? Because I'm supposed to have this special stuff to put in it, and if I don't put it in, I guess it doesn't work or something? Man, you, you're determined to get me to do this right now, right? Okay. Jake DeMarco should have gone to Foxwoods Thank Casino. Yeah! I think um, Jake wanted to go to. I think I think we're gonna go to Tim Dillon instead. That's what Jake wanted to go to. I'm gonna do mine. No, you can't do this. I'll do it. Here. Don't get my 
myself zapped? Yeah. What if I zap myself? Are you going to help me? If I zap myself, will you help me? Daddy. What? I didn't put the sticky stuff in it though to make it stick, so. What are you doing? Ugh. I'm doing a video. What are you doing? Wait, what, what did I have? I don't know. Shit we'll bomb! She wants her is done. You become. What's up? A shit Thank bomb. Thank you, Glorious. You can caress me and call me Rufus. Oh my god. Well, you want to do like a Bill and Ted like reenactment type of thing? Is that what you're getting at? Cause I'm totally down for that. I'm totally down for that if you want to do that. I'm back. Who blow those up? I did. Uh, and can I blow mine up? I'll blow it up in a second. Give me a break, I just got knocked out. How? I don't know, come down here. Ah. What's up, chat? What's up to everybody? Yeah, Brenna, go play. You got a dress on. Yeah, and that creepy guy who uh, likes to look at Jake's kids is in the chat. Go play with Finn. Go play. Go play or I'm going to go in. Can I show them on my iPad? No, go play. Go play. Go play. I want to show them my iPad. Go play. Justice Clarence Thomas just said marijuana laws may no longer be necessary. Well, they should have. Yeah, they never should have been. They never should have been. Yeah, I'm winded. Oh, I'm winded. Whew. Vince McMahon. Jake should ask Vince McMahon for a job. Probably right. It was funny we were in the chat last night. I was joking with that guy. I'm done telling anybody about anybody anymore, you know what I mean? People come to me and they tell me about somebody. I'm never telling anybody about anything again, you know? Somebody comes to me and says, that's the guy who said he would kill my family. I'm not telling anybody about it. Shit I nothing, bomb! I'm no longer doing it. You become a shit bomb. Because I get in trouble for it. Enjoy birthday cake, donut, slice of pizza, hamburger, pancakes, taco for birthday. Do you like lollipops? Yeah, Grimm's new girlfriend is better if you like to... If you're looking to be able to eat somebody when the end of the world happens. She's like two times uh, his old wife. Uh, what's going on, Paul? How you doing, man? What's up, John? How are you? Yeah, bro. No, Brenna, you can't sit there. I told you. Get off the table now!
Inside I go. Watch your brother. All right, since people don't listen, we'll be inside from now on. Grim's mother wants you bad. That's creepy. Happy birthday, what's up man? Let me get the tripod set up, I can read the question again. What up? What up, Joe? You're in Salem, Mass? We could go out to Salem, Mass together and, uh... Dig up some graves. Wanna dig up some graves, brother? You're closing in on 40? What's up, Alex? I mean, I'm 37, so I guess so. I feel kinda, like, done... You know? I don't know. Really thought you were ribbing you? What's up, Joe8078? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't think I was ever ribbing you. I don't even know what you're talking about. What's up, Paul3? I feel it. I feel it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we maybe, maybe he found out. Maybe his mom was coming back, you know? What's up? What up, Jack? How you doing, ma'am? Imagine tonight's Raw is actually a good show somehow. Yeah, that'd be funny. It's probably going to be a, a birthday snoozer. But we'll see. This tripod isn't fully extended. And you know I need to... I love it when it's fully extended, you know? So let me just... Let's see if I can get it fully extended. All right, now we're fully extended. What's going on? A shirtless kid? What is this, AEW? That's funny. I've been outside playing with the kids for a while. But now I can see them out here, at least through this window, you know? Raw on your birthday sucks. Yeah, this is terrible, Alex Oli. What's up, Alex? Yeah, it's terrible, man. This sucks. Raw on my birthday does suck. Yeah, whenever I bring stuff up, I'm told to stop it, but other people do it. Yeah, whatever. I mean, that's just the, whatever. What are you going to do? Welcome to uh, the world. I mean, whatever. Thank you, man, for the donations. I appreciate it, dude. It is like a birthday, man. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I talked to my friend Bobby Wolf uh, earlier, and, and he was... Uh, Thinking about coming over today to learn Diablo 3, so that was cool, but his kid's sick, his son's sick with some kind of cold, so he was like, I don't think I should come over, because he's like, you're not vaccinated, I've already had it, he's already had it, and none of my kids, we don't know if we've ever had it, so I'm like, I'm like, I don't know, it's like the chicken pox, I kind of almost, you know, give it to me, please, so I have the antibodies, um, you know, but... He decided against it, so we're like, alright, we'll wait a couple of days, plus my birthday, my mother's moving, all these other things, and, you know, but he broke his TV the other day by accident, and I told him, just go get a job at, um, at, uh, DoorDash, or like, uh, Instacart, or one of those Instacart, DoorDash, um, or, like, I wouldn't do, I don't know about Uber, I don't know about Uber, I don't know, Uber seems more of a pain in the ass, you gotta pick people up and stuff, but like, Instacart, DoorDash, uh, what's the other one, there's another one that, uh, what's the, I did it, I actually did this one about a year ago, or two years ago, or almost, Grubhub, go get Grubhub, man, so I told him to get, um, you know, go get Grubhub, because, yeah, Uber Eats, I don't know, it's, Volterra says it's crap, um, but it's like, dude, if you work at one of those things, or multiple of those things, you can just sit there with a phone and, I mean, you're going to make 60 to $150 a day if you want. Or you can just go ahead and make, make $60 a day and stop, right? Like, you could be like, all right, I'm going to, um, 
you know, you're going to make $60 a day and then stop. Work, work for two to four hours and then go home. He, you know, uh, this other guy was telling me about his mother. He was like, oh, yeah, me, him and his brother and sister and his kid. His kid's uh, 18 now and they're older and they're all older and they're all living in a house and uh, none of them work. And I was like, dude, if you all got a job at Grubhub, you would be able to, uh, you know, um, make what? If, if, if each one of you worked four hours a day, you can make 60 bucks a day between all of you. That's 60, 120, and then another 60 is uh, 180, right? That's $100 and 80 a day. But if you worked six hours a day, all of you, you'd make, you'd make $1,000 a week. You know what I mean? And I was like, if you all worked full time at it, you would end up making over a hundred thousand dollars a year. So I was like, there's no reason that you guys should lose your apartment or your house, because if four people in the house live there and only one person is working full time and the other one's working part time and the other two aren't working at all, I told my but my buddy Brad, I was like, dude, just everybody work Grubhub and DoorDash and Instacart and or whatever Uber or something. And there's no reason why you guys all won't make over $100,000 a year and you only have to work four to six hours a day, right? So, what up, Alex? Uh, he's not. I don't, not that, unless you know something, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, it's a little, little thing, you know. Do something like that, you know. And then, and then you're in control of your own stuff, you know what I mean? You don't have to... You know, you don't have to show up at a certain time. You can, yeah, five hours can get you a hundred bucks. So there you go. So if there's four people, if there's three people in the house working five hours a day or, or until you hit a hundred bucks a day, um, you know what I mean? That's three people, 300 bucks a day, three, six, nine, 12, 15, that's $1,500 a week minus taxes mm -hmm. and stuff. Well, you're down to 1200 to 1190 or 1200 bucks a week. So twelve hundred bucks a week. That's one, two, three, four, about five thousand dollars a month. Boom! There you go. You're not gonna lose the house. You're not gonna lose your apartment. Boom! You know. I went down the street the other day to the local uh, gas station where we always go to get our gas and stuff. And I said to the guy, "I go, you guys, what time you close?" He goes, "We close at 10. I'm like, "Man, you guys used to be open all night long. I miss when, because I work late sometimes. I do, I do these things at home. I didn't tell him I have a show or anything." But I'm like, I'll be like, you know, I'm up and then I, I'll be hungry for something. I'll come out here at like 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. and I'll grab a whatever and it sucks. And he's like, yeah. And he was a ni very nice guy. Um, the guy that used to work there was a, was like just a regular kid, like an 18-year-old kid, white kid. This guy is awesome. I love this guy. I love his accent. The Indian accent is one of the best things. Like He's like, nobody want to work. They all they get, they, nobody want to work. We close at 10 because we don't have nobody to work. They take the government money and they just stay home. I go, wow, what? Are you serious? And this is here. He goes, we can't find anybody to work. He goes, I'm covering shifts that aren't because people are leaving or they quit or they're not coming back. And because they can't hire anybody. He goes, we interviewed someone the other day or whatever. I don't know. And I'm like, Jesus, dude, this guy can't, they can't get somebody to work at the station. I'm like, so what are you going to do? Are you going to like try to start paying more or like what are they going to do? He goes, I don't know. I'm like, how can they not afford to pay more, right? You figure five cars fill up a gas tank, right? Five cars fill up a gas tank. I mean, are they, are they losing that much money if you pay somebody that salary? You know what I mean? Five cars fill up a gas tank, three, six, nine, twelve, fifty. You know what I mean? Like if you, if you pay someone $200 a day or $150 a day, that... They can't, they, they lose that much money. I guess they do. It's crazy. But yeah, he goes, because of the government handing out the unemployment, this is the guy from, who's only been in the country for 20 years. You know, he's like, I've been here 20 years. I've never seen anything like this. You know, weird. Yo, a fly just flew by me. I'll buy you a ticket to Jacksonville Taco Festival for your birthday. What's up, Mr. Pico Boulevard? I'm in Local 25 Union. Oh, yeah. I know a lot of people in Local 103 and the, and the woodworkers. Um, a, lot of, a lot of electricians. 
out here. Happy birthday. Thank you, Randy Sam, for saying that, man. I don't... I feel bad on my birthday, man. Everybody's like, what do you want? And I just... I'm like, hey, what up, D-Moon? I don't know if D-Moon's still here. I saw your text message, D-Moon. I saw you in the chat, I think. I forgot about... it. Was, you were under your regular name. And then on top of that, you sent me a text message. Moon, I saw it, man. Thank you. Um... I'm... I don't know, man. I might be doing solo shows at this point. I'm not sure. Or I might just be doing my own theme show and then bring on people. I don't really know what I'm going to do. We'll see what happens. But uh, I think Drew, Drew was the last person that could really speak. You know, that could speak. You know, but people spent a long time, you know. Uh, what up, Joe? But um, I think I'm just going to go full bore savage on my comments and on my uh, streams. I'm just going to be a complete psycho fuck. Um, that's the type of comedy I kind of like. I think the only person who's like that right now that I like... I used to love Bill Burr, but Bill Burr's kind of like settling in. I still love Bill Burr. I love Bill Burr. He's great. But you know what I mean. We all... Listen, everybody gets that way. They get more stale. They get more whatever. I, I got like that myself. But I want to go back into the sort of savagery and the and the just over the top shit, you know. Um, so I think I'm gonna stick back going by going back into that. I think it will be something that I'll enjoy doing, um, you know. Uh, I toned it down a little bit just because I got sick of people thinking it was real, you know. But now I don't care if people think, you know, what I mean, because it's comedy. So if people don't get it, mm -hmm. you know, if people don't get it, then I hope they have a stillborn. Um, just replace Drew with Luis. Oh, yeah, that will... Yeah, that's... I mean, that's pretty close. I mean, they are pretty close, mentally. Let's gotta be honest. You know what, Joe? I can't even do it. I can't even... My, for my voice is jacked up, but I, I can't even do it. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that. Well, I just read people's names in the chat the other day, and people got upset. Like, look at that, man. Um... But, yeah... I've always enjoyed Tim Dillon, or, uh, so I've enjoyed him for a long time. He's kind of gotten mainstream now, though. He's mainstream at this point. Um, I feel like he wasn't when I've always known him. He's been small. But that guy makes over $150,000 a month on Patreon. So I'm going to be making a huge push for my own brand, my own show um, mm -hmm. coming up here. And um, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But he, he makes a ton of money on Patreon. It's crazy. So crazy, dude, how much money he makes on Patreon. Um, I looked the other day, and I was like, oh, my God. Like, Jesus Christ. If I was this guy, I would do comedy shows. I wouldn't even sell tickets. I'd just be like, come on in. Fuck it. You know? Because, I mean, dude, he's got... I think he's got, like, some... I forget what it is. Something like thousands of patrons. Like, 9,000-something patrons. Alexa, what's six times 9,000? Six times 9,000 is 54,000. Yeah, so he's making $54,000 a month or something. That's crazy. And I think there's like, I think he's got 400 people in the 50 to to $100 tiers. Alexa, what's 450 times 80? 450 times 80 is 36,000. 36,000. So add that on to whatever the other number was. So it's like, you know, fifty-eight, sixty thousand dollars a month, or something like that. So it's like he's like making sixty grand a month on Patreon. That's crazy. How much is that a year? Somebody who knows math. You know, sixty-four times ten. You know, we're talking about sixty. I mean, I don't know. We're talking about a quarter of a, a half a million dollars, over a half a million dollars. You know, so that's crazy. Dude, can you imagine that? You're making half a million dollars a year on Patreon. That's crazy. What is he? What is he making when he does live shows and sells tickets? You know, probably a hundred thousand dollars a year. So you know, he probably makes about a hundred thousand dollars a year in comedy tours before the pandemic, and he probably makes. Yeah, and he makes about $600,000 on Patreon. So, Jesus. I mean, dude, I wouldn't even pay, I wouldn't even charge my fans at that point. I'd be like, you know what? 
Come to the show. It's on me. I'm going to make you laugh if you're a patron. Actually, or maybe just do a shows for the patrons. Like, just do shows and be like, hey, whenever I'm in town, all you got to do is be a patron. But I don't know how you do that. How do you prove that you're a patron or whatever? I, you know, I don't know. You know what I mean? I wouldn't even know how to do that. Patreon should hook up with, like, Ticketmaster or something on that. That'd be a good idea. I don't know. The taxes, though, it's a good point. Good point, the freaking guy. 650,000, well, 600, we'll, we'll stick with 600,000, it's a nice easy number. $600,000, now you got to take the taxes out, which are like 35 to 38% or 40%, actually they're 40%, aren't they guys? Someone do the numbers on that, I think it's 40%, right? Alexa, what's 40% times 600,000? 40% times 600,000 is 240,000. Damn! So he's making 360,000? Wait, 240 take away 600, 500, 400, 360,000. So he's taking home 360,000, right? Okay, so he's taking home $360,000. Holy shit, bro. Alveld, I got you, man. Thank you for saying that. Thank you, ma'am. Holy shit, dude. More broads should be like Alexa. <laughs> Mr. Pico, that's hilarious. I'm gonna steal that. I'm gonna steal that. You know, more bro more women should learn how to be like Alexa. That's why I don't have a girlfriend. I just have Alexa. Hey, Alexa, order me this. Hey, Alexa, do that. Hey, Alexa. What's the Pythagoras theorem? She fucking tells me. You know what my wife used to say? And my fat cow. Yeah. Fuck women. You know what? When I want to have sex, you know what I do? I strap on a Google fucking goddamn goggle device and I go on VRHub.com and I wax my character something that's almost as real as my ex-wife except it doesn't smell like her. Okay? Alexa does everything but the dishes. And when I want the dishes done, I just yell Mexico and someone runs it. No, I don't know. It could be a whole thing, dude. You just, you just fucking, you just created a joke for some comedian somewhere. That's a great bit. Somebody somebody write that down. Somebody steal that somewhere. That's funny. That could be really funny. Give that guy a give that guy a, a like. Um but at least your ex-wife polished your carrot. I mean, that's that's a good point, Bill. Let's be honest. Uh Alexa can't do that. But that's okay. Nikki J. What's up, Nikki J? Taking over Drew's seat. Nikki J! I don't know. I'm just kidding about that. Hey, Jesse, if you're listening to man, Jesse, I just want to say I love you. I love you so much, Jesse. I really love you, man. If you're listening, I'm going to get teary eyed. Love you, Jesse. Thank you, man, for the birthday uh, message and uh, for everything, you know, Jesse. You know what I mean? Jesse's a real, a real good soul. Tonight is raw. Let's hope it doesn't suck for my birthday. I'm watching my kids at the same time. I'm talking to you guys because they're playing in the playhouse. and They're going down the slide with the ball and they're getting stuck in the slide because the ball's clogging them up and everything. Uh, it's really funny, man. Um, Alexa Swallows, says Mr. Pico Boulevard. Hey, Alexa, go fuck yourself. Mm. That's right. She just she just doesn't know what to do with that. Boom. boom. <laughs> I think she might have actually Sorry, done it. Something went wrong. <laughs> yes, yeah, something did go wrong, you whore. Um, uh, thank you, Carlos. What's up, man? I, I might be uh, I might be drinking tonight. Yeah. Oh, there goes the ball into the pile of leaves. Uh oh! Don't climb up on the roof, or I'm gonna go yell at somebody. Hold on a minute. Let me just make sure we're not climbing up on the roof, are we? Okay, good. What the fuck? What's up, J Rod? How you doing, man? What up, Nikki? What do you guys think about uh, how bad is Raw going to be tonight? Let me know. Let me know how bad Raw is going to be tonight. Uh, Leah went to go pick up Gavin. He was at his friend's house for like four days, five days. My mother was like calling him like, You got to come home for Joe, for Dan's birthday. It's his birthday. I'm like, dude, let him be with his friend. He hasn't seen people like really at all in a year. I don't care if he comes home on my birthday. He'll be here tomorrow. And, uh, my mother's hilarious. Um, yeah, I'm always got something in my eyes. I have, uh, allergies. 
I have crazy allergies and I got uh I have some kind of crazy anxiety. I don't know where it's come from, but I got it. And that's all I'll say. I don't want to harp on it. I don't want to bitch about it. I don't know what it is. Wasn't in a war. Don't know why. But I got some kind of crazy anxiety, man. I don't know. Maybe it's all this stuff. Hearing about yourself every second for years. And people just turning out to be crazy or whatever. I don't know. You know? Maybe that's it. Maybe it's uh, all the suppression of childhood trauma. You know, I was doing a thing on that not that long ago when I was talking about, we were talking about DMT and hallucinogens and the government and how they used to study it on soldiers and how it could help soldiers with their uh, mescaline things and, and all that stuff. And, um, you know, it makes sense that when you something crazy happens to you that you kind of block it out and you put it away. And it's stuck in your memory, and as your memory breaks down over the over the years, and, and your short-term memory breaks down and stuff, that it, all of a sudden that that memory, those feelings and memories resurface themselves at a bizarre later time in your life, and that's I guess part of what PTSD can be. I don't know, bro. I don't even believe. I don't even know. I don't even believe. I, there's people that have like people went to war and saw people's arms blown off and their bodies everywhere and all kinds of things. So I I don't understand how I have it. I, maybe I think I'm just a pussy. I, I think that's what it is. Um, but that's just me. Um, but yeah, something's definitely going on. Uh, he left uh, over a year ago, Joe. Um, happy birthday. Thank you, Red X. What's going on, Red X? Red X. What is it, the fucking... What are you, a mortgage company? Would you give Ryback a hickey for $5,000? Come here, Ryback. You want to kiss? You want to fuck around and die in a pit of spikes? You don't go on your show and spread negativity. That's use your platform for positivity. Use your platform for positivity, okay? Maybe you could do that. Maybe you could use your platform for positivity, all right? Anyway, so, yeah, yesterday we were at WrestleCon, and that guy came up to me, and I was like, oh. And I was mad, and I was like, yeah. And you know, I envisioned the death by Spike, pit of spikes and killing him. But uh, you just can't do that, you know, uh, in today's society. But, you know, there wasn't going to be any physicality, but I thought about it. And you want, you know, I don't want to say his name even to give him credit. Scumbags don't deserve that. Um, but yeah, you envision killing him in a pit of spikes. I mean, I mean, what a fucking fake piece of shit you are, Ryback. Oh, fuck yourself. You Vegas cunt. Use your positivity to kiss my ass, you lying, manipulative, snake oil, salesman, Neanderthal, half re re, fucking fat muscle looking baby head. Piss off, Ryback. You got the brain of a goddamn mongoloid. It's not a hint of Jesse Ventura. The fact of the matter is, Vince McMahon would try to make all the boys in the back expose their dicks in front of Pat Patterson. I don't know, I can't do them right now. Let's go. The Stanley Cup is tonight. We got Stanley Cup. I don't know what to do, guys. I feel like as a long-time Boston Bruins fan, we hate the Montreal Canadiens. So I have to hate the Montreal Canadiens. But there's a weird part of me that feels sympathy for them and that actually is happy for them. I don't know what's going on, guys. I don't know what's up. I don't know why. I have always hated this team. I hate this team with an insane passion of anger. I hate them. It's the Yankees and Red Sox, but it's almost worse. But for some reason... I have this weird sympathy of like, go get him. You got it. You know, like it's we. I don't know why. I have no idea. So part, it's like I really should be uh, cheering for Tampa Bay. Finn, Where, where's Brenna? Okay, just making sure. Jerome Spicer, I'll be back with the $25 producer. Just got a new job. Thank you, man. Thank you so much, dude. Don't worry about it. Take care of yourself, and I'll be here. Thank you guys for taking care of me, by the way, my and, and my shows. 
and my family and the Patreon. Um, none of none of this happens without you. None of this stuff goes on without you guys. So, nope. Keep Grizzly Smith out of there. I'm happy for Carey Price, though. I am. No matter what. But I might have to cheer for the Lightning, man. I don't know. I mean, I, I gotta. I can't. I gotta cheer for the Lightning, right? I can't let. I can't be on Montreal's side, right? Do you need help? You want a cup? Yeah. What do you have? A cran apple? Yes. Do you want a big cup or a little one? A little one. Like an orange one? Yes. There you go, beautiful. Thanks. Did you have fun with that thing? Yeah, but I go to my eye. Do you need me to? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. Um, I'll roll it up for you and I'll put it back in the shed, okay? Okay. So you guys can play with that. If mommy doesn't want to get the pool, like pull the pool out and everything and wash it, the little pool, you can use the sprinkler thing, okay? Okay. It always gets in your eye. It always gets in your eye? Yes. Oh, yeah, because the, the thing's shot right at your level. If I put the other hose on it, they'd actually shoot up really high, but that one hose has got a, it's like weak, it doesn't work right. I say hi. Real quick. Put your drink down. Oh, oh. I got Hello. There you go. Tell everybody you look like Kirsten Dunst. No, not even a boy. No, she's a girl. You look like she's an actress. You look kind of like her. I do. I think you look kind of like her. You're gonna be an interview in the Vampire. Oh look, Ryan the ha bad mm. word said Ryan the bad word or the place. no, it's the heel. It says the heel. Oh, Ryan the heel. Ryan the heel says hi because he waves. He's waving. Because like this. Mwah. Bye. Right, go play. I'm gonna go Everybody says play. hi. Give me a fist move. I made this, wait. I made this friend on Roblox and she's only 13. She's actually pretty nice to me. Really? You're not supposed to be playing with 13 year olds though. Yeah, but it's on Roblox and she's pretty nice to me anyway. Well, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, I'm protective of her. What's up, Mr. Pico Boulevard? How you doing, ma'am? Oh my god, my case is burning! Did you leave it on inside of the case? No. Are you sure you didn't? Maybe. Go put it in front of the AC and get it cooled down. Jesus Christ! Buenos tardes. Buenos noches, coming up on that time. Hey, Brenna, how do you say hello in Spanish? Begins with an H. Man, you forgot it all? Let me just think. Okay? How do you say good morning in Spanish? Let me think about how Wow, you forgot it all. Oh my god. She had it all like a year ago. Wow. Wait, let me let me just let me just What's the morning is Buenos Dias? Afternoon is Buenos Tardes. And evening, like dinner time, is Buenos Noches. Night time. Where's Google on this thing? I don't know, but go in the other room. Go ahead. Go ahead before you expose, you dox yourself or something. Wow. She forgot. I can't believe it. Yeah. Alright, go play. You used to know all that, though. What happened? I don't know. How do you say goodbye in Spanish? Adios. Oh, there you go. Okay, at least one of them is there. What's up, Rustafa? I think so tomorrow, maybe, or whatever. I killed it. I killed the fly. Buenos donas. Buenos donas. Yes. Yeah. And she still has more vocabulary than her old man. Yeah. She'll, well, I mean, everybody's going to be smarter than me. Gavin, like, knows all this crazy stuff. This kid knows, like, about the history of, like, every video game. I don't know what he did, but he like spent time like watching tons of videos and things on games. Let's go party with Marty Janetti. Yeah, let's go party with Marty Janetti, man. It's uh, it's ninety. It was it was ninety four degrees. I think the temperature went down though. So, 
Because this girl, she has the same pet as me. Wow. Hey, Roblox works a lot better on that, doesn't it? Than on the other tablets? Yeah, this was, like, on my other tablets, like, Roblox is, like, the glitchiest thing ever. It's, like... It's beautiful on that. I can see how it's smooth it is. it's, like, so smooth. Yeah, it is. So, what you guys think Raw is going to be good tonight or no? I mean, it looks like we're getting the crowds back in a couple of weeks. So, that's that's really what we're waiting for. Can I show them my Are the pet? crowds back? We need some meth. That'd be Daddy. good. Yeah, it's 94. I need a drink. You need a drink, buddy? Yeah. You look tired. I you think, do need a drink. I think my iPad's better than any of my tablets. Hey, Bren, can you do me a favor and go down in the basement and grab me a water for him? Yeah, sure. Oh, no! I don't like water. Water is ugly. Water's ugly? Yeah, but You want this? Yeah. Okay, I was just trying to get you some water on top of this. Wait, can I, show, can I show them that she has the same pet or you can? No, nobody cares. Go play. <laughs> there you go. Drink up. <laughs> Brandon, you like water though, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You like water. Even Gavin likes some water. Finn likes water too. He's just saying that. He's being ridiculous. What's up, Matthew Browns? I could do a whole show with my kids on just whatever. They're like the funny thing. They're funny. They're hilarious. Um, we've been live for about an hour now. Um, what were you doing? Uh, it's me... Hannibal, here with the goon, Bill Irwin. In 1991, you say that you were in an automobile accident and it was the other driver's fault. Could you elaborate on what led to that crash? I don't know, man. Some jackass was driving the wrong way and we crashed into him. And it was a whole damn day of crap. Well, according to the police report, you were un you were drinking. You know what? Go yourself. I wasn't drinking. I would know if I was drinking. All right, you know what? You're a scumbag. You should die. Like I mean, <laughs> dude, I want like a whole series of those two guys doing podcasts while he's drunk. And Hannibal loses it. I could watch that all day, dude. I could watch that all day, dude. You know what? You're a piece of garbage. <laughs> Whatever he said, dude. Oh, it sounds like Jesse Ventura with Downs. Oh my god. No, I'm not 40 today, Bill. Damn it, I'm 37. Come on. I'm only 37. I'm 37 going on 17, baby. I'm starting to look old, though, to be honest. You know what I mean? I remember. <laughs> I remember the the Sam. I remember the John. And I remember that Brad would joke about jumping off the canyon and, you know, making a joke that Maybe they would land on a rock that was hidden or somebody would end up, you know, dying. And and I'll never forget when they went out that night and here comes Bob, here comes Sam. And I thought they were just wet from all the jumping and, and the diving and the cliff diving they do. And, and they looked wet. I saw their faces running and red. And, but it wasn't from the water. <laughs> <The cry. laughs> because Sam cracked his head open on a fucking rock and they didn't even they didn't have a phone to call their family why are you crying dad <laughs> Sam I <laughs> didn't he was dead I'm <laughs> I don't know. I tried to do it. I don't know. I tried to do it. I couldn't get it all out. I'm sorry. 
I was funny. I just, I just adopted a little girl. Yeah, that's weird. That's weirder than what I said. Wait. I think what? Hannibal is. I had hepatitis C. No more. Oh, I got two dogs. I got two dogs, man. Um, one dog is going to Leah's father um, because she's crazy here. She'll try to eat Melly, so they have a problem. So she's going to Leah's dad, and she'll be able to run around in the big yard in the house. He's single. It's going to be great. And then Melly, of course, is 14 years old, and she's uh, over there on the couch somewhere. Um, but I have to keep the other dog in the other room separated, especially when people are downstairs. And she's kind of like a was abused or something when she was young and we took her in and uh, we're training her but which he, she's gonna be a lot better and trained uh, when she gets over there but just don't want her to I don't want her to be we didn't want her to be uh, anything bad to happen to her Abdul Abdullah the butcher butchered my my wrists I will I abused your dog and I will abuse you Your house sounds like inside Tommy's head, yeah. If you want two dogs, a cat, and three kids, you're, you better not have a problem with sound, you know? Don't have two dogs and uh, three children if you want um, to be peaceful. Be careful what you trade. Don't trade good stuff, I'm telling you. I had a dog. Oh, I'm sorry, Ryan. That sucks, dude. I'm I'm dreading that. I haven't dealt with that. I haven't dealt with that. I, I lost my turtle and I lost my mind, dude. My turtle... Whew, it's going to be tough, bro. It's going to be real tough. I don't know how you, anybody does it when they lose pets. So we're going to see. I think a lot of people still like push the emotions down you know what I mean when something happens and try to push the emotions down but I'm at the point where like like a turtle causes me anxiety every you know what I mean like I mean I got problems bro I don't it's probably from my dad at eight years old you know what I mean Dude, I get sad when plants die. I got problems, bro. I get sad when plants die. Like, if I have a plant for, like, years or, like, months or whatever, and, like, something happens and, it, and I lose it, I get, I get upset about a plant dying. I got problems. Cocker Spaniel? I had a Cocker Spaniel when I was little. When wrestling legends die. The WWE Hall of Fame, where legends go to die. Last night, the bathroom was on fire. Happy birthday. Thank you for the happy birthdays, man. I'll be live tonight with a raw review with Jake, I believe. We'll be having fun tonight. Thank you, and thanks, and thank you guys for the donations, too, during the stream. You guys are really nice. Thank you for that. Um, shout out to D-Moon, whatever. Nobody, nobody knows. The trouble is, eyes have seen. Um, yeah, I, I, I have problems with freaking flowers and plants. Sad when the British Bulldog Davy Smith got inducted. All late when William Shatner gets in too. Yeah, that was a little weird. But I like, I love William Shatner though. He's like 89. What is he? 90? He's 92, isn't he? William Shatner. Spock, I'm still alive. You're dead. My wife's in the pool, but now I swim with sharks. Joe, did you see the video? Of the special needs child trying to getting into the ring to help Shawn Michaels. Yeah, I've seen that. I remember when it happened. Yeah, that happened on a, like an in your house or something. And Shawn Shawn was. Wasn't Sean a heel, too, at the time, or something? He, I don't know. Maybe he wasn't. He might have been a face. But either way, I just remember Sean was trying to take care of him. Yeah, this, the guy with, uh, he had, like, Down syndrome or something. And, yeah, Sean Michaels was trying to take care of him and give him a hug and, like, be like, it's okay, just put him back over the barricade. You know, don't kick him out, don't whatever. He was trying to, you know, make it 
so that the security didn't boot him out or anything like that. So yeah, it was cool with Shawn Michaels. I don't remember exactly what happened. I'm sure they brought him backstage maybe or something like that later, which is weird. Normally, you jump the guardrail, you get kicked out, you don't go backstage, but I'm pretty sure they let that guy backstage later on or something like that, I would think. You know. So Shawn Michaels, even during the time when he was a piece of garbage and crazy and whatever else, he was still sweet to that guy. Dunkachino? Don't mind if I do! What's my name? Dunkachino! It's a whole new game! Dunkachino! You want, you want green goodness? goodness? I'm, I'm your friend! friend. Say, Say hello to my chocolate land! Yo, Joe. Happy birthday, I salute you with a bowl of Cajun boil and beer, but tonight whiskey party for YouTuber's birthday in June. Yeah, baby! Federico! Hey, Pacheco! What's going on, man? Thank you, dude. Cajun boil and beer. Oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. Can you live with me, brother? Can you live with me, brother? Brenna! Let's go! Talk about it for you. What's up, Almighty One? Three biggest omissions from the Hall of Fame. Andy Kaufman, Owen, and Miss Elizabeth. You're absolutely right. That is huge. Andy Kaufman, why in the world is he not in the Wrestling Hall of Fame? Owen Hart and Miss Elizabeth? Are you telling me Miss Elizabeth isn't in the Hall of Fame? Because I remember going downstairs... And I'd eat that clam, I'll tell you, I'd eat that popcorn, I'd eat her up, and I'd snack on it till they long. Yeah. <laughs> something. Shut your mouth. Shut your damn mouth. You better be quiet or I'm going to drop an elbow. I'm going to drop an elbow if you don't shut your mouth. Oh, you better be quiet. Be quiet. The macho man is speaking. You need to be quiet. Unbelievable. The fact of the matter is, though, this Sunday, at the SummerSlam event, Hulkamania steps in the ring and you stare in the eyes of the Macho King, Randy Savage, yeah! <laughs> I'm not going to take the gate down. If I take the gate down, I'll have to put her in a... For lick lock, yeah. Stop it. I'm me. It's not. It's not a stone cold. She hates the. She hates the other voices. I think a man actually abused her. We think. Uh, we think some kind of dude abused her as a puppy. Is what we really. Um, we're, 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 is what's looking likely. So those voices freak her out. Um, my friend comes over. Most guys come over. She wants to kill them. Um, the only person that she's not mean to besides Leah's dad is Troy. She likes Troy. Um, what's up, Mike? What's up, Mike Houston? How you doing, man? Uh, but yeah, she likes Troy, but she wants to kill Bobby. She wants to absolutely eat Bobby. She must be a Hogan mod. That's hilarious. So, Macho Man... Impressionist abuse that mutt. Maybe. I think she also wants to play because now she's playing with her bones. So I'm probably going to take her out and play with her or something because she looks, she's actually wants to play, is what she's doing now. She's got the bone in her mouth and she's like, um, let's go, let's play. Our, uh. She's going in and out of her cage and all over the place with the bone. So I'm throwing the bone. So she must want the uh, her little house. She put the bone back in her house. So she wants to play. That's what it is. You want to talk about it? Go ahead. Go ahead, Vince McMahon. You want to put Elizabeth in the Hall of Fame? Well, if you put her in the Hall of Fame, then I guess you're just going to have to put heroin in there as well. Sorry. Uh, Joe, help me fight my manager. <laughs> what the... What? That's awesome. I might, that's like one of the best comments of the day. That's up there. There's been a couple of really good ones so far today, but yeah. But uh, that goes up there, man. Uh, thank you, man, and uh, thank you guys. Yeah, Streamlabs is working. What up, Big G? Yeah, it's working. Thank you. Uh, thank God it's working. I'm, I'm getting my birthday present now because of you guys. You know what I mean? 
Yeah! Oh, Tony, you're still blocked on, uh... Oh, crap, I may never be able to unblock you again because there's some kind of glitch where people stay blocked and there's nothing you can do to fix it. I don't know what the hell's wrong with YouTube. Still blocked. Uh, that may not be the real Tony, I don't know. Thank you, brother. I have the same B day as your lady friend. What do you mean by lady friend? You mean your girlfriend or like your other girl? What are we talking about? Which which girl? What are we talking about here? Um, bring her over. I'll eat her. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, thank you, brother. Um, BD Skeleton with the uh, largest donation of the stream. So shout out to BD Skeleton as we come towards the end, I suppose here. Um, thank you. The girl that beats him up, yep, that's true. The girl that beats him up. That he pretends like he owns. Okay. I'm hot, man, from being outside. I gotta go dump some water on me or something. Actually, I gotta go dump out that water fountain pool thing. It's got water in it. We're gonna have mosquitoes. Oh, it's a fake, yeah, probably. Probably. Flip the fella. You make a prank call, the voice of Broken Matt Hardy. I should do that. That's a good idea. Joe, how do you feel about Andrade and AEW? Uh, you know, I, I don't think he's going to do too well, you know, unless he has a good manager. You know what I mean? Um, Paul Free's main account is also blocked on Corrupted for no reason as well. Yeah, I don't understand it. I still haven't been able to solve this problem. I don't know what the, an what the reason behind this is. I don't understand it. You know? I don't understand the reason behind it, um, but it's been really annoying that people have been getting blocked or, or like are blocked, but they're not blocked. I don't get it. Somebody told me that it could have something to do with Google, but like if you don't mod stuff in your chat and someone says bad stuff, that they get banned in your chat automatically and there's nothing you can do to unban it. I don't know if that's true. I don't know. And I don't know if those people would have said anything like that, so I don't know why... Because when you look at the block list, they're not on the block list. I can go into my block list and show you my block list. You're not on the block list. But if I go to your account from your YouTube link, it says blocked. And it says unblock, unblock. And then you click unblock and then it doesn't unblock. It just stays blocked. Because unblock stays as the option. But it should say block if they're unblocked. So there's no reason to this at all. And most And some of these people aren't even people that should be blocked at all. So it's like... What's going on? Yeah, I, I don't really think Andrade is much of a star. I really don't. I just don't. I think he works well in like New Japan and all these places. I think if he was in WWE, I could have made him, you know, you could make him a pretty decent star. But honestly, um, I mean, I still think Tito Santana and Shawn Michaels were better during their time as mid-mid Carters and top mid-carders than Andrade will ever be because he can't speak English. And and if, unless he has a really strong manager or valet person, uh, he's not going to be able to do anything. You know what I mean? And he's allowed to have that. But if he's allowed to have that, he's hitting on all cylinders and his matches are what speak for him. Maybe then he could be like a lower to mid-mid-card guy. But I'm concerned that he won't even be that at this point. So, sorry. Tito Santana is better than Andrade. And Tito Santana was a top tier or lower mid tier, mid Carter guy for most of the time. Great guy to open shows up with. Great guy in the middle of a show. Great guy for a challenge for Intercontinental Champion like Shawn Michaels. So, I don't know. No? I don't know. Yeah, Tony, I don't know, man. I would have blocked you. I tried to unblock you a long time ago. Federico! Did he donate and I didn't see it? Federico said, uh, oh, I don't know why. It's, oh, yeah, it did read that. Chris Pauly, thanks for subbing, Chris. What's up, man? We did read that donation earlier from Federico. Uh, a couple more minutes left and then I'm out, so drop your questions, drop your comments. Let's have some fun. Kurt Angle, Tito Santana, I don't even know who that is. That's funny. I don't even know who that is. I'm the Raw GM. Thank you. I'm 37, so we're not at 40 yet, but we're on our way to 47. I'm starting to look like the the angry baseball coach dad. That's what I'm starting to look like. 
Very good. Good swing. Good swing, Johnny. You'll walk, keep your eyes on the ball. Come on. That's a, that's a strike. That's a strike. No. No, that's just your mother. Like that's like I picture like like I I'm the I'm the I'm like the dad coach who loses his mind and gets thrown out of the the league, you know, and has to go to like the little league meeting, and I'm like, listen, I'm sorry, I got carried away. I'm passionate for the kids. Um, my actions were inappropriate, and um, you know, if I have to step down, I have to step down. I love coaching these kids, but I'm just gonna say it. Umpire Francisco. If, I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say it. Umpire Francisco, you're a piece of garbage, and it, I, I you have no idea where the plate is from game to game, and honestly, you smell like Mexican salsa that went bad on a Tuesday, and I hate when you're umpiring games, and I'll be honest, and maybe that's my fault. Maybe that's me, but I'm gonna keep it real for my kids, because if I don't keep it real for these kids, nobody else will. All I ask is that when we're playing baseball, there's some kind of chance. There's some kind of chance, but how do you have a chance when you have an umpire who needs reading glasses in order to see the strike zone? So if you want to fire me from this voluntary position where our youth gets nurtured and grown, go ahead. You can hire Billy Bob Jones' butt face from down the street who doesn't give a crap. He just wants to smile and look good in front of all the single moms who brought their kids to the game. Why well, care about the game? Sorry. Anyway. Uh, I'm, I'm back. Uh, just lost my mind for a minute there. But uh, I've always wanted that role. So Disney, think about it, okay? Oh my god, dude, I saw that guy who jumped off the ladder. What a what an idiot. Like, I mean, we always say that though, right? But when they hit it, it's always awesome. It's like, well, hey, I saw the guy that fell off the ladder. So you know, you guys know what that means? Do you know what it means for the guy that fell off the ladder? The, the viral video you've been seeing everywhere of the independent guy jumping off the top of the ladder? Do you know what this means for that guy? He's going to get a job in AEW. A league of their own, too. <laughs> That's funny. Um, dude, that guy's gonna get a job in, a in AEW because he jumped off the ladder and almost died, right? That's how Joey Janela got hired, right? That's all they talked about was like, oh, video, oh my god, that video, everybody knew that video, oh, I got a job now. So that guy's getting a job, bro. That guy is getting a job. Jesus Christ, someone hired Joe as the manager. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Bad News Bears, the remake, starring Joe Cronin. That's right. I even got the name of the old Red Sox manager. Excalibur the Racist, says Almighty One. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're treating me like... Mm. You know the deal. You know the deal? I'm the president. Why are you being in that case? What's going on? No. Just skated 13 miles. Let's go. No, not that again. Yeah, the skate. I knew that that shooting happened near Tony. I said that when I saw it in Winthrop. I told Lee it was you, Tony. I said there was some kind of racist guy shooting people in Winthrop, and I said it's probably Tony. <laughs> Jeff is slowly going up the cod. Are you talking about Jeff Hardy? Guy stole a truck, ran into a building. And got mauled down by two people. Mowed down by two people? What? Excalibur should be working at Wendy's. I, I think Excalibur's alright. I just, I don't like him like the most. I, I think there's, I don't, you know. But I think he's okay, you know. I, I like him better now than I did. But he still doesn't have the command that I want on that announced team. He's got a little bit of this stutter hesitation I don't like. I think Excalibur would be a great number two. Duncan I think Excalibur Chino? Would be a Don't mind if I do! What's my name? Duncan Chino! It's a whole new game! Duncan Chino! You want creamy goodness? I'm your friend! Say hello to my chocolate blend! Happy birthday, Joe! Yeah. Have a wonderful day! Thanks! 
Let's go. Let's go, Talvish. Let's go. Let's go, Talvish. Go ahead. Relax. 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 It's not no one's here. Relax. 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 He looks like tarted X Pac. That's funny. Um, thank you, Talvish man. What's up? Shout out to Talvish. Um, remember when me and JD double teamed you in Florida, Talvish? You remember that? I do. I do. Remember when uh, Tommy was so thirsty for clout that he just walked up on the stage because he thinks he's God? I remember that. I think, um, I also remember when the goon was in an interview with me and he was drunk and an idiot. I don't know what's going on on the TV over there, but I'm getting pumped up. Talvish, thank you for the five dollars, man. It's a birthday. It's I don't know what I'm gonna do. My birthday is uh, I've been on streaming now for an hour and thirty minutes almost, so I think we're about done here. But uh, thank you guys for coming in, saying hi, dropping questions, comments, being weird, all that stuff. I had fun, and I will see you guys tonight for the Monday Night Raw review, and um, that's about it. You wanna jump on my back? Get on the thing and then, no, put that down before you drop it and break it. No, no, put that down before you drop it and break it. But, no, put it on the counter or you're going to step on it. No. <laughs> Hannibal vs. Goon vs. Janetti. Triple threat. Winner gets eight ball. <laughs> oh my god, Mr. Pico, that's hilarious. What's up, Paul? Thanks for the cake. What's up, Ryan? That is really funny. The Simpsons theme, so now we're gonna get hit with a copyright because the Simpsons theme is funny. Don't dare copyright. What? No copyright. No. Would I interview JR again? I could try to interview JR again, but it's different now that he's in AEW. You know, they don't. Most of the AEW people can't come on the shows anymore. They used to be able to. Um. But now they have like places that you they can't go, can go, or I assume. I'm assuming that's why, uh. I'm assuming that's why, um. Dunkachino? Oh. Don't mind if I do! What's my name? Dunkachino! It's a whole new game! Dunkachino! You want creamy goodness? I'm your friend! Say hello to my chocolate blend! Birthday question of the day. Joe, if WWE ask you to be part of writing team, would you expect? Um, I would say, I'll, yeah, I'll be part of the WWE writing team as long as I can meet with Vince McMahon or, or talk to Vince. I'd have to talk to uh, Vince McMahon because uh, otherwise I would just be writing stuff and one out of 5,000 things would get picked up, even if it was good. Or, or I would start writing and if my ideas were being m mangled... I would, I would be like, all right, you know, I write 50 ideas, you do nothing with them. I want to speak to Vince now, or I quit. You know. Um, so yeah, I'll be part of the writing team as long as I can talk to Vince, because I think the only way to get through to him is to talk to him in a way that I would need to talk to him. I need to speak to Vince McMahon. Give me 10 minutes with Vince in his office. That's it. Give me 10 minutes. I'd lay it all out for him. By the way, if we get to if, if Dad gets ten thousand subscribers, I have, I have sixty nine thousand. Um. Yeah. Okay. Well, if the, if he gets to one thousand million subscribers, then that would be very helpful. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Seventy. I'll take seventy thousand because it's a nice solid number. You know. We just need subs. Pu puke for him. Oh, you want me to puke for Vince? Hey, Vince, I gotta tell you one other thing. Uh, I'm gonna... Vince, I'm gonna puke. Pal, I'm gonna puke all over you. you know, the last guy that did that went and paralyzed somebody, so I don't think Vince is gonna really want to be a part of that. <clears throat> Does any of you guys want I'm a throw-up actress? <laughs> I'm a pretty good actor, so 
No, uh, I don't think Vince McMahon wants any more people that puke and then drop D'Lo Brown on his neck. That's what I mean. <laughs> Actually, we just need 200 to get to 70,000 solid. I'll put this on your... On your, on your no, don't drop. I'm telling you, don't break that. That was a lot of Grammy's money right there. You drop that, we're in trouble. Hey, you know what? I'm going to pinch your nose off. Yes, you do? I'll pinch your ear off. Go ahead. Try to pull it off. Pinch. Go ahead, try to pull my ear off. Pinch. Try to pull my ear off. Pinch. Go ahead. Yeah, this this one's just like me. Pinch, pinch, pinch. This is legit. Just, shit this, bomb! This like you become a shit bomb. BD Skeleton didn't say anything, he just dropped a dollar. What's up, BD Skeleton? Thank you. Look what time it is right now. Look on look on the um edge of my screen, you can see it. If, I don't think you can see it. Okay, stop. Stop that. D-Lo the dropping? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, she is just like me. She's um, more like me. The boys are more calm. <gasps> Mike, thank you for subscribing. Thank you. See, there you go. We just need 200 more now. Thank you. Thank you very much. D-Lo versus Joe. I actually, um, I hung out with D-Lo Brown um, down at the Wrestling Darlings when we did that thing with Grimm and JD and Brian Zane and everybody. Uh, he was awesome. I love D-Lo Brown. I can just tell you that D-Lo Brown is, I love D-Lo Brown. He is so nice, so sweet, so cool. Um, uh, he was so nice to us. He gave us more respect and, and than we deserved at all, uh, you know. I told him, you know, we told him how much, you know, he's awesome, you know, and he, he was treating us like we were something, and it really, it really was crazy. Here's one thing. Brown is tall. You can go look at the picture with me and D'Lo Brown. He's big. He's a tall guy. He's taller than I am by like, tall a whole as head. A, tall as a giraffe. Tall as a giraffe. Tall as a giraffe. Tall as a giraffe. No, I'm like, I'm 37, uh, Redcon man, but thank you. I'm on my way to 40. Yeah, Daddy's 37. But, by the way, guys, um, when you subscribe, that helps us. So, yeah. Does it? Yes. It does. Because we have more money. Um, he's doing moonsaults? Huh. That's crazy. Yeah, he does a lot. Of, he still, I think he still does them. He also came down and wrestled for Top Rope Promotions, but I think he, um, he actually wrestled for Top Rope before that, and I didn't really get to hang out or meet him. But when Florida, I met him, and I remember saying like, oh yeah, I just called your thing down there, but I didn't get to talk to you. Do not do that. I don't know where you saw that, but don't do that. What is that? I don't know. Don't do that though. Um, I don't get that. Joe, should D'Lo Brown go to the Hall of Fame, in your opinion? Nation of Domination. See you guys on Raw Review. Okay. This is J-Rod. Stop making faces and stuff. Just be normal. Stop being weird. Stop it. I'll see you tonight, J-Rod. Uh, I think that's about it, though. I think we answered... About everything. Uh, if something keeps coming through every time I go to end. Um, but I think we really are at the end here. Ow, you just whip me in the eyes with your hair. Sorry. I found hair. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. We're, we're going to end John Cena. That's right. No! What? What? What are you doing? What? Touch him. Touch him. Why? What's wrong? I don't like John Cena. He's ugly. Don't you think John Cena is ugly? He's my boyfriend. You. Why do you like John Cena? I don't understand. Because he's buff. Because he's what? Because he's buff. Because he's buff. Yeah. You like John Cena because he's buff. John Cena, I am gonna snap your legs if I have.
death. Why don't you, uh... What? I don't understand. You didn't even see John Cena, really. You know John Cena is, like, gonna be 45. And you know you're about to be 40. I'm 37. I'm still younger. You know John Cena is balding, right? What's on the outside is not on the inside. Well, what's on the inside of John Cena is communist China. On the outside, sometimes it can be stupid, but on the inside, it's nice. So, yeah. No comment. Uh, so, your daughter looks like you, and your oldest son looks like Leah. Yeah, that's basically what it is. I win, I win the weird face contest. What are you doing right now? Is that some supposed to be like your a gun thing? Why would you? <laughs> All right, we're out of here. Bye. You have a good day. I die. She has my eyes. Come here, hop on my back. Let's look at our eyes. I love that your eyes are my eyes. <laughs> We've got the same eyes. We've got the same eyes. Look at us. We've got the same eyes as me. Adorable. Adorable. Goodbye, guys. I'll see you tonight for the raw review. Thanks for the donos. Thanks for the comments and the funny Thanks. stuff. Thanks for the subs. Bye. Thanks for the subs, and if you don't give us subs, then you're gonna have nightmares. Oh. <laughs> bye. Bye. See you, Paul. <laughs> but you're gonna bye. See you. Bye. I'm going to play on my iPad. Okay. Okay. Mommy's gonna be home in a minute, I think, and Grammy's too. I'll see you guys tonight.